Welcome back to Vlatflix. Today, let's take a quick trip to Germany, where this incredible cocktail was created. Our home version is not exactly the classic gin basil smash. It will be simplified. The key ingredient for this magnificent cocktail is fresh basil, but we're going to replace it with basil flavor concentrate and see if it affects the taste. This one I found on Amazon. It has no sugar and claims that one or two three milliliters pumps will add authentic basil flavor without sweetness. It does have a strong basil aroma, but I was a little disappointed that it's clear and not green. It's bitter and thick, similar to simple syrup, except that it's not sweet. Get any box glass that you have laying around on your kitchen, put ice and stir with spoon until it gets cold. Get rid of that ice. Now let's use the best gin you can find at Costco. Please give me a like for using this fancy jigger. Next, since it's a budget version, we need a lemon juice concentrate, shake a bottle and add three quarters of an ounce. For sweetness, we need a quarter of an ounce of simple syrup. Now the main ingredient, without it, gin basil smash couldn't be made. I'm going to add only one spoon, which is about 5 ml, add fresh ice cubes, stir it and put some more ice on top. I tried and it wasn't bad at all, but also wasn't exactly what I expected. So we can try to improve it now to keep it low budget, but with better taste. And this one will be shaken. Pour 2 ounces of gin, the same amount of lemon juice. The previous version could be a little sweeter, so let's increase the amount of simple syrup and pour half ounce. The same amount of basil concentrate. And since it's colorless, let's add the tiniest drop of flavorless green food coloring. This is already much better looking and super close to the classic version. Fill up the shaker with ice and... I will strain it in the cold mason jar, fill up with fresh ice, and this is so, so close to the classic version. Well, let's make it now and compare. The classic version was created at Le Lyon Bar de Paris. Creator of this drink said better too much than not enough basil in this drink. He also specifies that the basil should be modeled as this will make a greener drink, so we don't have to use a food coloring here. Basil is the true king of herbs. There are many varieties of basil, but the most commonly used is sweet basil. That's most likely what you will find in your local grocery store. In the shaker, put a bunch of it with stems. Add a quarter ounce of simple syrup. When you start modeling, it will release so much flavor, so if you start making one in front of someone, get ready to keep making them until basil runs out. Use fresh lemon and squeeze three quarter ounce of juice. I will be using angelica gin since it's exceptionally smooth, but you can find some less expensive alternatives. Fill up the shaker with ice. I will be serving it in a cold double box glass with a big ice cube. I'm going to make some size adjustments really quick to make sure that it fits in the glass and also need to make sure that the cocktail will fit in perfectly. Use a fine strainer to avoid pieces of smashed basil get into my drink. For garnish, pick one pretty basil leaf and place it on top of the ice cube. Now to my favorite segment, Vlatlix and Chill, where I'm going to rate these two cocktails. Overall taste, I will give 8 to our pro version and 6 to low cost one. If you substitute lemon concentrate on freshly squeezed juice, it will be at least 7. But keep in mind there is significant price difference. If you get a bottle of basil flavored concentrate, it will last for a really long time. And you always will need to buy fresh basil for the traditional version of gin basil smash. If you guys enjoyed watching this episode, please hit the like button and subscribe. Also now is the time to say thanks to all my Patreon supporters who helped this channel to keep going. If you would like to join, I left a link in the description. Never be afraid to make something new and I'll see you in the next video.